here's a clip from our podcast that's coming out tomorrow. Part two in our stigma series. I'm just reading the conclusion. Results provide more uh, further evidence that previously identified stigmatizing language has the uh, potential to influence medical uh, care and provider uh, medical practitioners perceptions of individuals with substance use disorders and should be avoided. Other commonly used words that we use with substance use disorders have commentations, even if we don't have studies directly uh, looking at these. Consider the idea of clean versus dirty. These are literally the definitions from Merriam-Webster dictionary. There are strong connotations of morality intertwined with these ideas of cleanliness that often reinforce the uh, patient's own experience of self-shame and self-stigma. And again, these with these studies, these are primarily based around the medical community. The medical community is a very small part of most people's lives. This doesn't account for inappropriate uh, stigmatizing language from friends and family day in and day out or pre treatment programs that encourage people to self-identify as these labels. With the repetitive use of this sort of language, how could this not lead to self-stigmatization as well? Okay, so his point is, and I like this point, his point is that it's it's hard to laugh at somebody with substance use disorder. It's easy to laugh at a junkie or a drug abuser. And I'm going to take his example and apply it to patients with pain. It might be hard to laugh at a patient with pain, and it might be easy to laugh at a chronic pain patient, malingerer, drug seeker, however else you want to say it. And, and this is exactly what happens. Like we are mocked. It, it isn't just that we can't get medication. We are mocked in the healthcare system right now. And it's encouraged and allowed and even applauded. There's always this knowing giggle when they talk about chronic pain patients. And I'm really, really sick of it. So I'm going to show you a few examples of exactly what I'm talking about. This first one was a question and answer panel with Dr. Don Stater. He is out of Colorado, and it wasn't him saying the stigmatizing statement at this time. It was a nurse asking him a question about chronic pain patients. As a nurse at the bedside, I've been a nurse for six years, and I think my compassion is still there. Um, I feel like I connect with my patients really well. I struggle immensely with that population of people that comes to the emergency department, and um, they're not heroin addicts. They're um, prescription opioid addicts, and the only thing that's going to fix them is more opioids. I love the fact that we're doing this. I've, I've been on board for since I started, um, and I love having more tools in my toolbox, but any sort of advice that I can have from you guys as far as how do I have those conversations and how do I deal with those patients when they're throwing themselves around the bed and nothing's going to deal with them except for more, you know, nothing's going to make them better except for more narcotics. Do you still think SUD patients are the only patients treated this way? 